In this video, I'd like to discuss with you the importance of thumb leather to a bow hold. And I'll tell you some little gizmos that you can buy and put on your own bow that can really make a difference in your bow hold. I've been noticing that the really cheap violin bows, the student bows, are doing a huge disservice to violin students because they've either got that plastic grip, which when it gets hot, starts to slip and slide all over the bow. That's a disaster. Or they have kind of this fake thumb leather that's barely as thick as black electrician's tape. And that robs you of a very important thing. So let me just tell you the, the function that I've just realized. I kind of knew it in the back of my mind, but I just consciously realized it. The, the thumb leather plays an important role. Okay, so this is just normal thumb leather on my old bow. This is cowhide, which is thicker than lizard skin. Some people opt for lizard skin because it's more durable. It doesn't have to be replaced as often. Um, I like the cowhide because it's thicker. It gives me more cushion and it gives me more of what I'm gonna tell you. you. Have you ever experienced where your bow hold drifts up the stick? It's so frustrating and you have to creep back down and then you drift some more. You probably are drifting because you don't have good thumb leather. Um, the, if you have good thumb leather, it's more than for your thumb. We all talk about thumb leather because the thumb bridges the leather with the ebony. The thumb f creates a bridge and kind of touches both. But just as important is that it contacts the middle segment of your middle finger. And between the two of these guys, that gives you a real ledge or edge that's gonna keep you from slipping. And the rest of your bow hand can be so relaxed. Well, these guys can be relaxed too because they don't have to squeeze. They just grab that edge and you can push up bow, pull down bow, up bow, down bow. Grab your bow and feel the thumb leather touching your middle finger and your thumb. And uh, check your bow and see if it's got thick or thin leather or plastic. Okay, now let me show you some of the cool things that you can add besides paying lots of money to get a really nice piece of leather on your bow. Um, let me show you just a couple things. This is a little bit impromptu, but um, this is surgical tube. And I could have put a great big long piece on and cover the whole leather, which would give me uh, a little bit more grip for my index finger. My index finger, the pad, really navigates by gripping the thumb leather. So that's another function of the thumb leather. And if I have sticky, grippy rubber there, that's gonna give me even better control. But I'm, I'm accustomed to this, and I happen to have a segment of surgical tube that was this big. The reason I put it on my bow is because I started discovering, oh my gosh, I hate this bow. Why do I hate this bow so bad? It wasn't the bow's fault. Look at that. My thumb leather is completely obliterated. That's from my thumbnail. My thumbnail touches right there and it just, it just gouged through that cowhide till there was none there. And with that cowhide gone, my bow was tippy, it was floppy, I couldn't do a controlled spiccato, all because of the thumb leather. So I put that there to see if it would make a difference, filling in that gap that was left, and it did. It, it, I love my bow again. <laughs> so I just pull it down. It's on really, really tight. I had to put olive oil in there to slip it on. What I did was I, of course, you all know how to take your bows apart. I took this apart and slipped it up the stick. You have to leave enough clearance so that it doesn't prevent your horsehair from loosening. Because watch, it's right now the ebony is right up to the rubber. And that's good, because that means I can get my horsehair completely, completely loose. But when your bow is tight, the frog slips away from 
the thumb leather or your surgical tubing. And if I were to put my surgical tubing further down, it would actually prevent my bow from loosening. So you have to kind of adjust for about a eighth of an inch for that, okay? Um, let me show you what the surgical tube looks like. There's lots of different thicknesses you can get. This is medium. Can you see the edge? It's hard on a camera. There, try to get the light just right so you can see the edges. It's medium thick. You can get really thick stuff or you can get thinner. It's so cheap. I'd go, I'd get one of all three and see which one you like the best. Okay, so this is an easy fix. I've been carrying this around and putting it on my, all my students' bows. <laughs> now, there's something fancier that you can buy. Um, it's the foam, and I'm sure that you've noticed it on other players' bows before. It's not easy to find, though. This is called Viotech, and it's, it can be gotten from Johnson Strings in the United States, and it can al it's also available widely in Great Britain. They're kind of expensive, I guess. It's about $10, but you get a pair of them in this tube. I've only used one. And the foam was too long for my bow. I didn't like the, it was an impediment to my bow hand because it was just in the way. So I cut part of it off. That's why that edge looks kind of sloppy. Um, it looks really nice if you use the whole thing because the edges are beveled and all nice. But this is really, I mean, look how thick that is. That gives me a serious, soft, squishy, pillowy edge for these fingers to hold on to. And just enough for my index finger to get the pad on for navigation. Okay, this went on pretty easily because this bow is old and the stick is skinny. But if you can't get it on easily, just a little olive oil. Some people say dish soap. I would rather not put something that's gonna attract gunk to my bow. So I would just use olive oil or any kind of nice oil. Okay, that's all I have to show you, but I could tell you about a couple of other items that you can get that can you can put on your bow that will help you. There's the Bow Master, and it's a pre-molded rubber grip. Be aware they come in sizes, because I ordered it once and it was huge. Um, way too big for my hand. It wanted my hand to be spaced out like this. Then I realized, oh, it comes in small, medium, and large. So then I ordered small, and it's as small as a child's hand. It took me a little while, but I did find, I found it. It's the Bow Master by Super Sensitive. I'm not a fan of it because it's not very customizable, but it's worth a try. If it works for you, it's really gonna work. This is the small. I think I threw the large one away in disgust. Now you'll see that it's got several ridges and it's got that little donut hole for your pinky. So pinky goes here. These two ridges keep your middle finger in line I'm assuming this ridge is meant to keep your index finger in line. I just don't like being that crowded. I feel like this, but if, it, if I'm, I have a suspicion that medium might be perfect. And then underneath here, it's got ridges to keep your thumb on the down bow and on the up bow. It gives you pushing and pulling power. I really like the concept of this. It's just the sizing is a little bit iffy. This is hard to get on your bow. You'll definitely need olive oil for it. And there's also uh, Bow Buddies, which is out there available. They're very cute. They use them for kids. But if you're not too proud, or you can just get the black ones, they're little plastic animal shapes that you place on your bow and they hold your bow hand in place. One features um, a a piece of plastic that goes right up between these two fingers and prevents bow slippage. And I've actually recommended that to a couple of my students who have had severe right hand injuries because it keeps their bow hold, makes their bow hold behave when they don't have the muscle control to make that happen. So those are bow buddies. This is the bow master. This uh, foam stuff is called Viotech. It's available through Johnson Strings or through 
well, widely available in Great Britain. And good old surgical tube. All right, thumb leather. Who knew that it was so important? But it is. I'll see you next time.